we have uh, over 200 faculty members affiliated with the Brain Research Center now. So there's a tremendous breadth and depth of uh, interests. Very nice. We have a big technology theme in imaging. Uh, we have people working on uh, dementia. We use multi-photon microscopy, uh, to, which basically enables you to look directly at the living brain. We've got people working on stroke. Uh, here we have people working on brain development and plasticity. Another major technology focus for us is uh, uh, genomics. Understanding how these different genes work in the brain, how, uh, you know, how the protein products of these genes interact with each other is a major focus of what we do in our Brain Research Center. And they're studying animal models of Parkinson's. Uh, here we have people working on Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. One of the problems with um, brain diseases is it touches so many different people. It touches you at, at every age. I was waiting for revolutionary discoveries and, uh, you know, if there aren't any, it's off with her head. I'll just highlight one project that uh, we're particularly excited about right now and uh, this is in the broad area of stroke. Our idea is we don't know when the stroke will occur, but we think we can identify the people who are at risk for stroke. Imagine that you could have um, implanted into, say, your arm, you know, like take an injection now, of a machine that would have two components. And one component is a stroke sensor. And then what it would do is automatically, if you're having a stroke, it would effectively release a therapeutic. This could happen five years after you do the injection. Are you scared? Yeah. You're worried? Okay, yeah. good, I like that. <laughs> oh. We are in a golden age of neuroscience. You know, the revolution in imaging, the revolution in molecular biology, being at a great place like UBC, having all that uh, around you basically makes it possible to do these kinds of things, do these tremendously interdisciplinary projects. I'm so nasty, I know, I know. When they gave you the order of Canada, did they specify anything in particular? I think it was mostly for good looks.